Hi, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm continuing going over the toolbar in Premiere Pro. And in this specific episode, I'm going to be going over the track select forward tool and the track select backwards tool, which is found right here on the toolbar. This has this little teeny arrow on the bottom right hand corner. If you click and hold your mouse on that, it will expand the menu and you can choose either the track forward tool or the track backward tool. And this is a selection tool used uh, in your timeline here. And the shortcuts for these tools would be A or Shift plus A. So if I've got my arrow tool selected here and I might cho choose all tracks forward, you just hit the letter A and it does and it will select that tool. And Shift A will select the track backwards tool. Shift A, there you go. That's the track backwards tool. All right, so let's get into this selection tool here. So if you got a timeline that's got a bunch of clips on it and you want to move, say, these clips around right here, and say you were like zoomed up on it, if I've got like just tons and tons of clips on here and you want to select uh, from here on and move that around, I mean, you could do a marquee tool like this, but if you're like, if you've got so many clips that you're zoomed out, but if you have just a ton of clips on your timeline and you're trying to select maybe from like right here, uh, and and forward, and it's really difficult to draw a marquee. Say you're like zoomed out far enough that you can't really select this one right here as a marquee like that, and you keep getting the wrong clips that you're trying to... Say I selected like too many, and I just want to select from here forward. That's where this tool comes in handy up here. So I'm just going to hit the letter A, which will select my all tracks forward tool. Now I can move down like right here if I want to select from here forward. You put the mouse right over the top of it like this, so the, and it will select from where the really tippy points of this area, uh, arrow is touching here. See, if I move back and it's overlapping a little bit like that, it just selects, and I click, it just selects uh, where the tippy tippy points of those arrows are touching. If I slide this a little bit back forward and click, see it's still not selecting this clip before, but if I get it right there to where this little arrow is touching that previous clip, now we'll select all tracks forward, just so you know how that, where that precise selection point is, exists. So that's all tracks forward. And if you want to move these here, you can either do a cut, copy, and paste, or you can uh, simply click and start dragging. If you want to move it, you can, let me deselect command shift A, which would be control shift A on a, on a PC that deselects everything. You can basically click on the, on these clips. You don't have to be exactly on it. You can be above it like this, but if you click and hold your mouse and start dragging to the left, then it moves. So if you just move it a little ways just to make a gap like that, that's cool. But let's say you want to rearrange these. You want to take all these clips from here forward and you want to put it at the beginning of the timeline. So now you can hit command X to cut, uh, to cut. That would be control X on a PC. I'm going to hit my home key and go to the beginning of the timeline. And now I'm going to hit command shift V as in Victor. So X, C, and V is cut, copy, paste. But if I do do just a command V or a control V on a PC, it will overwrite everything that's in its path. So I don't want to do that. I want to push these clips out here and, uh, and, and insert it right there at the beginning of the timeline. So now you could hit command or control shift V and it will paste. And that does a ripple paste. When you hold down command and shift or control and shift, it will paste out and push everything else out. It's like a ripple paste is basically what that is. Command or control, shift V, and you can see that it's now pushed those clips out and put these ones at the very beginning. Let's say we want to move these clips right here. So now I can do all tracks backwards and that's going to be shift A. Shift A will reverse this direction and now I can do from here forward and it selects everything from that point forward. And now I can do the command X, command V, the cut, copy, paste feature again if I want to move it. So like, let's say I want to insert this in the middle of here, like right there. So I've done all, the, I've selected all the tracks backwards. And I'm going to do command X, which would be control X on a PC. And now if I hit arrow down, it will land on the, uh, edit to the right, arrow down one more time and land right there. And I want to paste my stuff right there. So I'm going to do command shift V and it will ripple paste and shove everything else out. And basically that's the way that tool works. One more extra feature here. Let's say you've been editing and you're doing a documentary, so you have maybe your A roll on one on uh, one track, and then you have your B roll on top of that track. And let's say you want to select uh, if you if you do your all tracks forward and you want to select just maybe your A roll and move it around. Uh, if you click on this, it's going to select all the tracks that are forward from that at that point. So I'm going to hit Command Shift A to deselect, and, uh, and I, let's say I just want to move my A roll right here. So the way way to do that is you will hold down Shift. And you'll notice it'll turn that those uh, two arrows forward to one arrow forward. And what that's going to do is just, that's just going to select one track of video, that this single track that I'm on right now. So if I click there, it, tra it just selects everything on that track. And if I hold shift and go up here, it'll select everything on that track. And anything that, that then by the way, this, this video and that audio is linked, that's grouped. And basically right here, this audio and video is, is grouped as well. So it's selecting those as one track there. And that's the same as all tracks uh, backwards, shift A. 
And now if you hold down your shift, it does the single track backwards. There we go. And just selects the track that you're touching and, and not everything. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments at all, please post them. And thanks for watching Chin Fat.